Welcome to the ultimate JavaScript course. Okay, so what's up, guys? I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to teach you JavaScript. Okay, so JavaScript is basically a thing that you use for logic building in a website. Means with so first of all, what you have to do is watch my previous courses if you don't know html and css first learn it i also have the video on it okay find it in my channel you'll get it okay so i'll open my visual studio code in my teaching folder that's my you know folder in which i teach you every time so yep so so there it is it's my visual studio code is open okay you can choose your own choice text edit okay nothing Okay, it's still the same. Just make the same file. Okay, so I'll use the I mean the official names index.html. Okay, so okay, yeah. So I'll make a basic follow play. And then, okay, what's happening? Yep, I'll say script. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll say h1, hello world, and then open this guy with fly server. Okay, so start him. So I'll automatically, so it will automatically open it in the browser. Okay, so. My default browser is Brave, okay? There could be Internet Explorer, or Firefox, or Chrome, or even Brave. Okay, I just have Brave, okay? So, nothing. It's the same, okay? But make sure you use Chrome or Brave, your choice, okay? So, d just because of the inspector, okay? Even Internet Explorer and Firefox has these tools, but, y you know, this is really better okay so brave and chrome both have the same inspect tool so i'll go with that okay you can even use chrome or brave your choice again oops what happened oh no yep oh boy yep so this is a basic html word okay this is the HTML code basic one. Okay. So go now to see the code. And so you have to even know CSS for this. Okay. So it's not that important, but still learn it. JavaScript should be last. Okay. So if you know CSS, you'll know that CSS could be written in two lines. You can just do it in the HTML, like say that h1 will be all our red something like that and then it's red okay and another uh, another way is to make an, a css file style css and then link it okay so Okay, and then say, and then say, the H1 color red, okay, and then come back, so it's the same, okay, so the thing with JavaScript is the same, okay, so you can either write it in the HTML file, or you can just make another one, okay, for beginners, I'm doing this with the script tag in so they can see both okay so if I say cancel that line actually you know what I'll do it in another file so actually no okay so I'll make another file called script.js okay so the extension to make JavaScript file is JS okay so if you don't know what extension means I'll show you extension basically means what the what is the type of file it is okay like in html it's dot html in css it's dot css in python it's dot py okay in javascript it's dot 
JS, okay? Short form of JavaScript is JS. So script that JS, okay? So I have to import it. No, not the CSS file. I have to import it the JavaScript file, okay? So you have to import it like this. Script. You have to do like this. Script source your file name, okay? So this, okay. Now you don't need to write anything. You just need to write in the file, okay? So I'll say console the last hello hello world, okay? I'll show you this in a moment, okay? Okay, so it's refreshing. A live server, okay? So as you can see, hello world, okay? So if I write here, oops, it's hanging. Man, this thing hangs a lot. Okay, just a minute. Yep. Okay, if I say my name is Day, and then do this. Okay. Yep, my name is Day. Okay. So. Anything I write in here, if you know Python, then uh, you'll notice that anything you write in the double quotes is called as a string and it will print it, okay? And another thing about JavaScript is a very cool thing, okay? So, I'm not sure, okay, so basically it's, you even can put a semicolon in the last and you even can, okay? So, it's your choice if you if you know actually C and C++, you will say that you would have a habit to put a semicolon, okay, which will not work in Python, okay, but in JavaScript, this is the cool thing. If I even put a semicolon here, it works just well, okay. So, this is the, you know, good thing of JavaScript that it doesn't matter that it, ha it has a semicolon or not, okay, this it just don't care, okay. So, if you are from Python, don't worry, don't need to put semicolon in, okay so if you want to you can okay so your choice like if I do like this this so oh, it printed like this okay so this is console level okay I know what you're thinking that how does it matter that even if it's here okay if I say c the user that's going to visit the website it's going to look at this not this I mean, the user will look at this, not this, okay? So, you will have to put everything in this, okay? So, first understand JavaScript basics. I'll show you how to do that even, okay? So, this is console that lock, okay? It's easy as it gets, okay? So, to make a variable in, in the JavaScript world, you just don't say like h1 equals like okay the basics of javascript is the same as python okay so so the thing is that to make a variable in it you have to do two things you have to say var and then the variable name okay so first of all if you don't know what strings and numbers and all those are so i'll show you what this how does it make in the javascript okay so okay so to make a string you just like python you just need to put a var behind the if you want to make any you know variable okay so say var and then say my underscore string equals my name is Dave and then it doesn't matter if I put or not I'm just not okay so if you don't put all the thing I just put for you know neat work I just don't care about it okay so equally fine if you don't okay so it doesn't matter so I'll say and then say console the last and then say my string okay same thing will happen nothing will change okay so nothing happens okay nothing means nothing happens because the string is the same okay so if you don't know what's the value of strings and all those things 
go to the python course and you'll know it okay i have put all the things in my python course okay you don't know what string is what flows is and everything okay so okay yep so let's get to work okay so let's see what the hell What is going on? Oh my 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 wait 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 sorry. Oops, accidentally I closed it. So reload and close this. Okay, accidentally closed it. So so let's get to work. Let's say how can we put so I'll make a simple demo for ya and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so I'm back and oops just wait for my, uh, my microphone yeah okay so so i've imported my javascript just like that okay so the styles aren't is the same okay so i'll give it some wait wait i'll not give any styles to it for now i'll just delete this okay i don't want any actually you know what let it be where it is so it doesn't matter a lot because you know Okay. Just wait for here. Okay. So I have a H1 with ID of print space. Okay. So you'll be thinking that I have the ID to get it from the CSS. So this time I I have the ID to get it from the JavaScript. Okay. I show you how it means. Okay. So forgot forgot this for a second. Okay. Forget it. So I basically make a variable called gender and then say it equals to prompt okay so if I comment everything and just say that you can comment this okay I just do it okay oops okay oops okay so if I say that okay so I'll uncomment it okay and then let's see okay so when I reload the page, see what happens. Reload, it asks for me for something, okay? In Python, it's like input and then what you want to say. In JavaScript, it's like this, okay? So it prints what I have written here. And then, okay, so prompt means that take an input like this okay and what's written here is what sh what is shown here okay say if I say okay so in different browsers it will be different kind of input okay so the prompt means prompt okay so I'll undo it okay so basically this is my code okay so I'll skip for a second okay so this means basically okay so var print space means equals to document means it's another module like console okay and say that get element by d okay so get a uh, element by id and get the element by d which has print space okay so the same thing i've written here print space okay print space the same thing okay so document that get element by ID and in the parentheses you can you know put a variable or a string your choice okay so and then say print space that inner HTML means it's inner HTML means this what will be inside it will be your you are a gender means the prompt okay so if I say boy then it writes oh, you are a boy if i say girl and it says i'm a girl okay so this is the code okay you can write it many times okay you can even write it in if else statements okay for just for beginner sake i have written in this okay it's just a quick idea to show you how is javascript done okay so this is it okay no this is an 
this isn't the end of the video I'm just showing yeah okay so okay okay so yep so instead of war you can even write let okay with more professional in the case of that and you can even write const okay your choice let war or const your choice okay Th and the most people write const okay let war is even good okay it's just so just don't get confused by that okay it's the say okay so uh, yep so I'll uh, write let okay so okay mm, okay so if you don't know what is list okay lists are basically like war if you don't know what list is okay oh uh, what I was gonna say yep so watch the python codes okay I probably don't have list in it so yeah I have actually have list in it okay so watch the python codes of my before you watch this okay it would be a lot clear for you to understand javascript okay because the core of every language is the same it's just uh, so it doesn't matter if you go javascript to python or python to javascript okay you should the fundamentals are the same okay it's just a little syntax okay so yeah so list and all those things are okay but something is missing okay so let's mm, yep so wait okay so these are the basics of javascript okay oh okay another thing how to make functions in javascript okay say function function and then the name of the function okay i'll say my func and then we double parenthesis and then this okay so my func is cancel the line my name is day okay and then say my func okay I'll open the inspector inspect okay so it's my mistake okay so these are functions okay again the famous python you can put your you know your what do you say your values in this if i say arguments in this okay so it's the same okay so what if wait for a second if i say print space equals equals document then get element by d print space okay and just say that print space that inner html and note that that the html should be capital in this case equals math that random just that so as you can see every time I refresh it gives me a random number see so okay so it's like that okay so the match dot random works like that so it gives you a random number between one and zero okay so I it doesn't matter how many time I refresh it wouldn't go over one or below zero okay so to do anything with that you have to do like this math so I'll show you math that floor 
what the random number was giving okay so it will be zero like most of the times okay so if I say multiply by three okay what the hell is going on okay so it's two and one and zero and one okay so it's giving me randomly okay if I make this like one thousand so one thousand then eight eighty six hundred and four one forty five two sixty six one sixty six it is giving me a lot of random numbers okay so it works like that okay so it's the mass that random and mass that are true it's like that okay so let's make a rock paper scissors games okay rock paper scissors okay so let's make it actually wait actually you know what we'll wait for a second here and let's put something else okay so let's get the paste it's done and then we'll go to the rock paper scissors okay so yep so let's say we make a button and on click of that button we want to do something with javascript okay so we'll ma make a button say click me to print print hello world okay and then I say on click okay it's the HTML element on click on click now we are back in JavaScript world okay so this what is whatever is going to be here it's going to be pure JavaScript okay so what we do professionally is we make a function in our JavaScript body and then execute it here okay so we'll do the professional way so we'll make a function Called, okay, let's just type it. Say my func, okay, and then say document that get le oops le mess by id say print paste. Okay, so we'll make it later. First, we'll do the thing, and then say let or var let a variable name like print space equal this okay so I'll put it up here okay and then say print space that inner html equals equals um you have clicked me or we could say alert oops yeah alert you have clicked me clicked me okay and I'll do this just see what's going on here okay we'll be amazed by this okay and say my funk over here okay and there you go. So if I click it, it says, oh, why doesn't it say? Wait for a second here, guys. Okay. My funk is in this way. My funk is not defined. What is going on? Man, I just made it here. So we'll change our plan. We'll just put it over here. Oop, what happened? Yep. So I'll put it in single quotes, doesn't matter, okay? Because it, this whole thing is in double quotes. Whoa, what's happened? Oh, ho, ho. so the Visual Studio Code put an other rename tag, so it made another tag before it did it too okay so when I click this button it says you have clicked me okay so oh yep so my prefix was hanging a little bit okay okay you have clicked me okay okay 
so this is it okay so this is okay so yeah now let's get to if and else statements okay so what if okay so let's make uh, your age in days calculator okay so it will be apparat calculator okay so yeah so uh, let's go so first of all we'll make a div okay and we'll use even CSS in this one okay so yeah the one thing I haven't told you in the CSS course was bootstrap okay so anyway let's go okay okay so this okay I'll give it IDs and classes later okay so let's say all oh, the files oops what happened let yeah it's okay okay so let's make a div okay so okay I'll make a class of um something like the bats okay and then we'll say bats will be style like say border wait we'll give a width and a height of 500 pixels perhaps we'll give it a width a little bit more okay okay so height will be 500 pixels and we'll get a border border one pixel solid black okay what is doing this Okay, so it's not showing at all, and I don't know why. What isn't it doing, man? Oh, it's solid. It's solid. Yep, so this is the bats. Okay. So I'm sure I'll make it two pixels will be a little thick. Okay, so this is cool. Okay. And then we'll get a margin left of a little bit. Left of something like 100 pixels. Give it a 150 then, and we'll just do 175. Yep, cool. Okay, so this is the you know box in which will be the whole age in day thing. Okay, so yep, so the box ready. Okay, in that we'll say just wait for a second here. Wait. So, I decided to give it two buttons, okay? So, button one will be click me, and the second one will be reset, okay? So, these are our two buttons over here, okay? So, let's style them two, okay? So, let's even give them their own ID, like, okay? So first of all, don't copy me in styling, okay? I am very weak in styling, okay? I just not a master in styling, okay? I know styling, and I don't know how to. I know how to use them, but you know, I'm not much of a styling. Yeah, I know more of a JavaScript guy. So don't copy my. S you want that you can, but you know, you can go with your own styles okay it's it is actually good you make your own styling so uh, let's get it started button id will be button one and button two okay id equals button two button two okay so new changes now let's get the css done okay let's get the button one first button one okay let's make this actually a little bigger okay so your eyes can actually see it okay so height so height 
so it'll be, you know, something like, so they, let's go. Okay, so it doesn't look that good. So I'll say 100. And, okay, so I'll make the height actually for typical balls. And make this 100 pixels, so 100. Oh, this looks a little good. Okay, so I'll even increase it. So 100. Okay, so this is cool. Okay, so I'll just make this 200. So this looks cool. Okay, so this is the button I really want. I mean, this is cool. Okay, and say like background color will be red, perhaps. So I'll make my own color like do like this. VS Code has an awesome feature. You do like this. Uh, you just hold your mouse over it and then it shows you. Okay, so I want a little bit of reddish. A little more. The full reddish. But it should be on this side. Okay, so how does it look? Let's see. Nah, it looks a little dull. Don't it? So let's make it brighter. But you know what? Let it be red. A real tom red, okay. So let's just say red, okay. A little light red would be nice, but no, who cares? You can do it by your own. Or I'm telling you once again, don't follow me, okay. I'm uh, I'm terrible at styling, okay. You can do it better, I know it, okay. So, and the font size should be a little bigger like large nah it should be white so color white okay so this is cool and I'll say pollution relative okay doesn't change now I'll say margin tap uh, 50 pixels, something. Okay, 50. Okay, so what's the size of this? The div is the width, a uh, height of 100. So I'll make it 250. Okay, so th it's actually on the center. Man, this is going terrible. Okay, let's make it 50 percent. So get in the center so let's get in the center man just not what I expected this is really going dumb man oh man this is really dumb why isn't it doing it so I'll just do it by the pixels so I'll say 150 actually 200 Pixels. Yep. So just a uh, 175 should do the trick. Okay. So this is good. And let's give it a. Uh, yep. Margin. Margin left. Uh, something like 100 pixels. So leave the space for this over here. Okay. Should it should be the space. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Oh, wait. I want to do just one thing. Border. And mm, one pixel solid. Man, I just can't write it. Okay, right? Okay, so you know what that means? I'll zoom it for ya. So, zoom. So, okay. As you can see, this thing, this is a black border okay so it comes when default when you change the color of the button it comes default okay so we don't want it so we'll say so we'll say like uh, okay so let's style this one okay we'll style it the same just we'll give it a left a little bigger okay so don't get into the styling too much it's it isn't a waste of time, I mean, it is pretty important, okay? So, 
just like that. Man, this looks. Oh wait, 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 wait. I actually want to give the button a border radius. Okay. So as you can see, I'm multi cursoring. So I'll zoom out for ya. Okay. So I am multi cursoring. Okay. So I'll say like um uh, border radius of five pixels. Okay, so I will curvish. I'll make it ten pixels. I want to will curvish. Man, I'll make it one thousand pixels. Oh, looks like a capsule. Good. I'll leave it like this. As I said, I'm a terrible, terrible style okay I just do things in style what I like okay so I'll leave it like this and the button to should be at uh, margin left uh, 200 pixels and that's about it okay no, I'm not going to do much more style than this okay that's it okay that's my style and we'll have okay so you can do your own stylings, no stops, okay? So I'll zoom it back again. Wait. Just wait for a second here, I don't know my zoom level. Okay. I just change my setting. Okay, I just like the zoom level of two. Okay. So let's get this on. Okay. So basically what we want to it to do is that when it click on click me it gives us a prompt of what is your age and then what is your birth year and then converts it into your age and then converts it into days okay so what we're gonna do is there's something new in this project too okay so first of all we'll get these one Okay, so we'll say, okay, so just wait for me, my microphone's a little unstable, okay, so, yep, yep, let's go, so, we'll say, uh, let, you can use one your choice, there, button one, okay, you can name your variable your choice, I'll say button one for short form. Button one equals document that get element ID and say that button one. Okay, so those are my ID I use in the HTML. Okay, so make sure this should be ID, not class. Okay, so to even get from class, I have another technique. Okay, so I actually isn't mine it's JavaScript so let's do it copy paste I'll say button two button two okay so like that and then so these are say and then we will make function okay so we'll say but we'll say function Clicked of button one, we'll say like that, and then say prompt. Say wait, and we'll store it in a variable. Say that birth year, or in birth year, yes, birth year equals this. Prompt saying, What is your birth year? Okay, and then get oh, and then alert. Okay, so let's say so we are going to use a um, date. So, date of today. So, wait. Okay, so the date of today, 
Okay, so here we're going to base it up on year, not month and date. So we're not going to be that precise, okay? So, yep. Yep. So, a lot. Wait. We'll say H in days. Okay, put uh, on the H in days equals. First of all, we say H in year is birth year. Oh, yep. So 2021, because this this video is being recorded in 2021, minus the birth year. Okay, so the birth year, birth year. Okay, and we'll get the let. Okay, and then. Let H in days equal can I put a space equal H in years multiply by three sixty five. Okay? So hope you get that. It's very easy. Okay. Oops, I accidentally put a double underscore over here. Okay, so it's a single. You get that one. Legend years and then alert H in day. Oops, in day. Okay, so let's check this for the unclick event. So unclick equal this. Click of button one. So click. button one okay and let's run it so I'll refresh it okay so it doesn't do anything why does it let's see click of button one isn't defined why isn't it working So it isn't getting it for some reasons. Okay. So I just figured out that it was nothing. I just didn't import my JavaScript file. Okay. So I just needed to <laughs> import this. Okay. So let's try it. Yep. Click me. Cool. Like I can say, like I am born in 2000. Whoa, I'm six six seven double six five. Okay, so that isn't actually my birth year, but still good. Okay, so this is so. Comment below your birth year too, and check this out. Okay, so this one just worked. Okay, it was my fault actually. <laughs> This wasn't just in folder, okay? <laughs> so don't do silly mistakes like that. It costs you a lot, okay? I've done this many times, so... Okay? So it's like, okay... And it's gone, okay? So, what? Okay, so this is the... Uh, now this, and... Another thing that I want to show you was the date function okay so the date function no the date mario okay so if i say two days okay so okay so what i have to do okay so if i say let so you so what will happen you will have to update this every year okay so what we'll do is say date equals date, okay, new, a uh, new, okay, new is the keyword, okay, and date is the module, so don't get confused in it, okay, so new date, and say date dot get full year, and, okay, so date that gets full year, and, yep.
so there you go and the same thing will happen because it knows that it's 2021 if I say 1997 and that's cool edit get so uh, this is your age in days program thing okay so okay so this is the really basic of JavaScript okay so if you want any project to made by me tell me in the comments okay I'll make it seriously I'll make it okay so if you want me to make any project and go live so just tell me okay and I'll do okay so yep um, so yeah let's get to if and else statement okay so it goes to if and else statement okay so easy peasy okay again they're very easy all okay so let's get to work now um which project should we take for self statement um let's take a project in which the website asks for your age and then if you are above 18 and so and then it says welcome and if you are not then it say you are a child okay so let's make a program that predicts okay so yeah let's do it okay so I'll rough this on boom okay so first thing I'm gonna do is import my script.js file means my this file my javascript file okay because I don't want to do the silly mistakes I did before okay so let's make a h1 simple and easy say id equals the h1 i am going to oops, to write my answer in okay so this is a real wrong Okay, so I just want to assure that you can do whatever you want to do with IDs, okay? I'll make a simple short like H1, H1, okay? And then I won't give it any styling. I'll say H1, select H1 equals document that get element by D, H1, okay? and yep each one and then say h equals prompt what is your h okay so what is your h your h okay and then if and you do parentheses in javascript okay if h is greater than 18 or equal to 10 oops then each one oops, h1 that inner ht oops inner html equals you are an adult okay else if age a, oops, age is less than 18 then do this what h1 that inner html equal you are in child okay I'll show the meaning of this in a second okay I'll say function oops I did something wrong here okay 
h1 na nr html equal please enter Okay, so it's ready. Okay, so I'll share the meaning of this. Okay, so if in Python you say if and then write the statement here and do like this, like if blah blah blah, do this and it will indent it. Okay, so in JavaScript it isn't that easy. Okay, so you do like you do like if and then say like parentheses and then put your condition in it okay so the conditions are same as python okay and then put a condition in condition and then you do like this to okay so here is your code okay so little space So okay, so do like this, okay? So and then your clue or your condition, okay? So you do like if a statement like this. So if this, so that's the same what I have written here. So if h is means this prime is greater than 18. 10 oh sorry greater than or equal to 18 then h1 that in html should be you are an adult else if h is less than 18 then say you are a child okay so and else if nothing works then say please enter the input correctly in numbers okay so let's try this i'll say all my files okay oops this Okay, so I'll restart the whole website and say my age is 18, then say you are an adult. If I say my age is 10, then say you are a child. If I say my age is 22, it will say you are an adult, okay? So these are if else statements, okay? So these are false statements, okay? So while statements are the same for Python and this is statements, it will like while and then age is oops age isn't equal to a team then keep h equal prime. Okay, so I didn't put a let here. My bad. Okay, so if it's pre-assigned, then you don't need to have a let. If it's not assigned, you are doing it newly assigned, then you have to put a let. Okay, so, yep. If I say, whoa, my website getting crashed. Okay, so, refresh. Okay, so why is it why is it five? It wouldn't do anything until I say 18. It closes, okay? Okay, so 18 and then it goes. Okay, so refresh. If I say 23, 66, 72, 10, 23, 89, 83, 64, if I say 18, it will go up. Okay, so this is one thing. Okay, so there are a lot. So basically there are a lot other things that you need to find on your own, okay? So let's make another one, okay? Let's make a calculator, okay? It's simple, neat, clean, calculator, okay? So, oh, what happened? Oh, I just broke something, I think. Okay, so that will be three inputs and one output. So, oh my god, guys, 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 wait, 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 wait. Just wait for a second.
Man, I get a big rock. Um, age. Wait for a second. So I just forgot one thing that we didn't work on the reset button after uh, we just kind of clicked me. Okay. So, wait. Yep. So, nothing there is even need to do. So, don't worry about the reset button. Okay. So, So why? And then Uncle Y. Okay, so sorry. For the interruption. Okay. So that's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. And like, share, subscribe this channel, and comment on this video, and subscribe my channel, and. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.